Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Uh, well, I've never done this before, so I thought I'd try something new. With me, I've got Lee McGregor, Cash Farouk. Um, the reason I wanted to get used to to talk about your, your fight, because domestically, it was a great fight. I mean, people loved it. And it's still getting talked about. The rematch is getting talked about. So I just want to get your thoughts on the fight that you've had and obviously a potential rematch. So I hope this goes well. Let's give it a bash. Uh, Lee, Cash, have you met before? Cash, that's Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I want to start off with, uh, we'll start with you, Lee, since you, you won the fight. Yeah. Now, a lot of people are giving you some, you, you still get a little bit of uh, heat, so to speak, to say that you lost the fight, Cash won the fight. And some people are saying that you lost the fight. Have you watched the fight back? And what were your thoughts now that you've watched the fight back? Um, it's obviously a close fight. It's one of the ones where, as I said, everyone's going to have an opinion on the fight. Um, the more I watch it, obviously, the more the the better I feel. Um, we're reading comments and that it it can sort of doubt you and think, well, wait a minute, why why are folks saying this? But I feel like the more I watch it, the better I feel about it. Um, it's a close fight. Uh, don't get me wrong. Like if Cash had got the nod or whatever, like I feel like we'd sort of be we could accept it, but we'd be disappointed because it was one of the fights that was that close. Um, the only thing that annoys me is the folk that are saying, like, terrible, terrible decision and that. Like, it's not that. It's a close fight and I've got the nod. Um, I think what did sort of get the, the outcry and what made people unhappy was the scoring, which I've already admitted. Like, we can all agree that the scoring was a bit wide on one of the cards. Um, but, again... Um, I think one judge, one round, I won it by, and then obviously I think one, the one fifteen, one twelve is what made made people disappointed. But take that aside, it was a great close fight, and and one I would be more than happy to, to do again. Cash, what about yourself? Have you have you watched the fight back, and what what are your thoughts now that you've seen it back, and obviously what Lee Lee's just said there, right? No, I watched it back a few times. Obviously, I thought I won, you know I mean? Obviously, Lee think he'd won as well. But, you know, it's just more than my own opinion at the end of the day. And obviously, my own fans and my own teammates, you know what I mean? And, you know, obviously, I still think I won, you know what I mean? I thought I won, like, obviously, around or two, you know. And, uh, but it is what it is, you know. You just, you got to move on. And, you know what I mean? And um, obviously, I'll be want, I'll be wanting a rematch. I know Lee be, Lee's on this, he's on the same boat. But I always say, I think... Obviously, you just need to wait until obviously we get our fights out the way, you know what I mean? First, the next few fights. Obviously, next, but depends. He might end up getting a fight. I'll end up probably getting a fight and see from there, you know what I mean? But ideally, you know what I mean? That's what I would like to do. You know, maybe end of this year and beginning of next year, that'll be, I'd be ideal. Stay on with you, Cash. Like, when the final bell won, what were your initial thoughts? Did you think you had won the fight or was there any doubt in your mind that Lee had maybe get the nod? How was, what was your initial thoughts when that final bell rang? You know, I, th I thought I won the fight, definitely, you know what I mean? And obviously, going to the last round, I did definitely think I still won the fight. Even though Lee won it, you know, I did definitely think I, I won the fight. But, you know, obviously, you got the nod, but, you know what I mean? What can I do about it? Lee, what about you? Did you think you won the fight when the final bell rang? Aye, well, I think you can see with the both, the both our reactions at the end of the fight. That we were both on the same boat. Uh, we both thought we won. Obviously, I knew sort of the midway point. Um, I knew I was sort of I'd lost maybe two, two or three rounds. I think it was maybe five, five, six, maybe four, five and six, or they were close, but definitely five and six. I think I can't remember obviously, where it'd been that long ago. And then I knew I came I had a good round seven, and then I remember my coach saying to me after I think it was maybe round eight, like you need to win these last couple of rounds. That was close. I think he had me the one or two up then, but I still I knew I had to have a big finish. And I felt like I did, to be honest. But then I got the point off in round 10, which then made people think, well, he's got the point off and he lost a couple of day rounds. But a lot of people forget, and I, I don't know, as, as you keep saying, everyone's different. But if you watch it and you, you watch round 10, I think a lot of people will, will agree, I won that round, but get, obviously getting the point off. And so then people think, oh, with the point off, they've lost that round. Well, no, ne not necessarily, because that's a level round. That's a 9-9 nine -nine round. In, in my eyes, anyway, do you know what I mean? As a, and then, obviously, round 11-12, I felt like I won. So, it is what it is. The fight's done. Um, obviously, I won. He thought he won. But 
again, it just makes the rematch even more exciting. A lot of people want to see it again. It was an excellent fight for both of us. We, we both proved our level, and I think we both obviously got so much respect from so much respect from it, and both our profiles went through the roof. So I think we were both winners, to be fair, on that night. I think you you might have a your hand over the speaker a little bit early. I think. Oh, all right. Sorry, no, you're right, mate. Sorry, did you? Sorry, right. I, I, I can still hear you. We can still hear, you, but it was just a wee bit dull. That was it. Right. So what's Lee? What's what's what do you have to do in the rematch? You you want the rematch? Cash wants the rematch. But what do you have to do in the rematch to make sure there's no doubt in anyone's mind that you won? You won. Do you have um, to stop cash? No, nah, not not really. I just feel, I feel like. It's going to be one of them, Andy. I, I think we're both... Well, Cash is an excellent fighter. I believe I'm a good fighter myself. I think we're both that close. And it's always going to be the case. I feel like we, if we fight again, it's going to be nip and tuck again. It's it's just one of the things. We're both at the top of our games. We're both young, fit, and the, just coming to the peak of our years and that. So I don't think any one of us are really going to um, outdo one another. And I, fi- I feel like it's going to be another barn burner for 12 rounds. and all I can do is just cover all grounds, which I'd always do in training, and uh, just be even fitter if that's possible, and even more determined. Uh, that's that's going to be the difference. But again, I know that's going to be the same with Cash. It's just one of them. That's why people are so excited and want to see it again because it's never going to be the case where one of us are really going to be totally outclassed. Um, I feel like we're both on the same level, and it's it's going to come down to who wants it more, and that's the fights people want to see. Definitely. I'm, like I said to you, selfishly, I, I, I want to see it again. Cash, what do you have to do in the rematch to make sure that you get the nod this time? Do you have to put it on Lee? And, I know Lee's probably going to roll his eyes at this, but do you have to try and stop Lee as well? Cash? He's away. <laughs> He's away, is he? I don't know. I just... uh, do you, do you, Cash, I can hear that. So I think someone did you hear what I said there? Hear me now, Andrew. Sorry, hang on. No, it's all right. I can hear you now. I all said, right. what, what, what do you have to do in the rematch to make sure you get the, the nod? Do you, do you think you have to stop Lee to make sure you get the win this time? No, I think obviously, like Lee said, you know, I mean, it's one of them fights. You know, we saw him, I mean, never talking. You know, I think our styles have just, it's just, I think it's just a style, you know, I mean, we've got both of us. You know, I mean, Lee can box someone else and he'll beat him at the park. I might, you know, I mean, do the same. So it's just our styles just to help each other, you know, I mean, the way it is. You know, and uh, I think if it happened again, obviously, I think it'd be one of them fights that will always be back and forward. You know, I mean, I'll, I think it'll be one of them fights that will always be a good fight between me and Lee. You know, it's not going to going to be a boring fight between us two because I think Lee Lee likes to obviously Lee likes to always entertain it as well as same as me. You know, and uh, I think uh, if it happened again, it'll be another great fight. And I think I think it'll I think it'll sell out again. You know, I mean, like the last time. You know, and I think it definitely still in a bit bigger venue. Yeah, I... I'll put this to you then. Can you both sell the hydro? It depends. You know, uh, I mean, it's uh, you know, I think it probably if we get a few more fights, you know, I mean, see another two or three, build our profiles up and build the fight up. I think it is possible. You know, I mean, it's definitely. I think it's thinkable. You know, I mean, because it's it's not it's not really these coming from down south or I'm coming from somewhere else and we find each other in a, you know, I mean, different city, but it's it's a uh, Scotland. You know, I mean, and. It will, you know what I mean, because it, it attracts it attracts a lot of Scottish people to fight mainly, you know what I mean. So I, I think it could. Lee, do you, do you agree with Cash? Ah, hundred percent, mate. I'd just uh, echo what Cash said. I feel like if we get a good card, a couple of good undercard fights, we definitely, without a doubt, uh, we could we could sell that out. I think. Um, but as he said, we need we need a a strong a strong undercard, which which is more than possible because there's loads of young up and coming fighters coming through. Um, good ticket sellers, get them a couple of even maybe another like maybe a local derby or two Scottish fight, uh, fighters fighting each other. I know there's there's a few going about round about the same way as well. So a couple more of day fights, um, definitely it's more than possible. Can, can you see like a trilogy we used used to trilogy even a I don't know what the what word is for a fourth fight, but because like we've seen trilogies happen before. We've seen in the 60s and 50s with Sugar Ray Robertson and stuff like that, that they fight four or five times because the fight's so good. Can we see something like that with you and Cash? Um, I'm going to answer this and say no, because uh, that obviously I've just covered my head that if we fight again, I'm going to win. 
And then there was obviously the only way there would be a trilogy, obviously, if Cash won the second fight. But in my eyes, obviously, in my heart, I, I don't ever see that happening. But as you say, the fights are close, and like the first fight, he can he could have got the nod. Like the, the fights are going to be that close, so it is more than possible. But obviously, I have to go with my my mindset and my heart and say say no because obviously I'm fully confident in my own ability. But I'm also not stupid enough to realise that it is a fight that's that I could potentially lose. Um, so aye, it could happen. But if you were to ask me, I would obviously say no because I'd be firmly set on winning the second fight. Cash, your response. I think, uh, to be honest, I think the next fight, I think that'll be it. To be honest, I don't think so, whether it's going to be a rematch. I think, I would say, in my mind, I think I'm, I'm going to win anyway, you know what I mean? But I don't I think after that, I won't, I don't think so will happen, to be honest. You know, I, Lee might, might end up going up a weight, maybe. Depends when the fight happens, see if it happens. You know, say if, say if it happens next year or something. And, you Cash, know, you I'm, going half your, I'm sorry, Cash, I'm going to see half your face, mate. Uh, oh, sorry. That's, I that's can see that. I, I, so, I was, I was saying... Uh, no, I mean, it depends, you know, I mean, just, I think, one more fight, I think that'll be it. The second fight, that'll be it. Even though I've got my own mindset, I'll win. You know, I mean, I think that'll be it, you know, so, I mean, and I think after that, I think that'll be it. I mean, I don't think so be a third fight, you know, so no matter what. What's got to be on the line then for this rematch? I mean, like I said to you, the British and Commonwealth was on the line last fight. You sold out the, the Emirates. We're talking about the Hydro uh, that you can probably sell out. So what, what sort of... Uh, what sort of title needs to be on the line for you two to get in there, sell the hydro, get a good paycheck? Because that's it's your job. You know what I mean? You need to get paid as well, handsomely as well. <laughs> uh, so what needs to be on the line? Does it have to be a European title? Maybe even a French world title, world title? What's your thoughts? Uh, I, I think uh, I think it needs to be a big title anyway on the line, definitely. But I think obviously it would be great if the Europe, we had the European, if we box for the European, but... I think it'd be great if we get a few wins, you know what I mean, before we can get that big fight then, you know what I mean, me and Lee, you know, to build the fight up. And uh, I think some uh, European, I think that'll be ideal. We could, you know what I mean? I know that I think uh, Scream Gafari we've got it. So, you know I mean, obviously, I think, uh, obviously, if I get to it or he gets to it, wins then I think it's perfect, you know what I mean? I definitely box. Even one of my, obviously, if you say a French World Title, that'd be great for us to box for it, you know what I mean? Lee, do you think that as well? Hi. Aye, a hundred percent, mate. Obviously, the the realistic um, target would be obviously one of well, potentially me win the European title and then obviously defend it against Cash. If he was to somehow get an opportunity before me, then obviously I'd imagine he'd be the same. But then again, you you don't know what can happen in boxing, like themselves one day a world title vacant and we both built our platforms even more for another year and then we're both ranked within a certain organisation and <laughs> there's a vacant title and we're fighting for a world title because the great we're both improving and progressing uh, it wouldn't be a big shock if that was a poss- if that was to happen so this boxing game is funny and crazy things can happen so I would never say never with that but obviously the realistic target would be obviously the European title, um, the rematch for the British and Commonwealth titles. I don't know if it would, it would still gather a lot of attention and sell out probably. But I feel like just there'd be that little bit more, um, spark in it if it was for, obviously the European, um, because the British and Commonwealth. I feel like as I've said before, me and Cash are sort of just bypassing that level now, and then obviously the next step would be the European title. Would you, if Cash gets it before you, the shot, will you be supporting Cash? Maybe a dumb question because he's Scottish and like you, you want to fight him for the thing. But if Cash was to get the shot before you, would you be back in his corner hoping that he wins it? Oh, 100%. Of course. Uh, uh, put, put all this aside, all this needle and whatever it was in the boat. There wasn't even any needle in the build up to the fight. And there wasn't really any after it either. It's obviously just all the outsiders have stuff to say um, and on computers and that. But between me and Cash, there's always been respect to us, you know, we've, as people know, we've been roommates before on amateur trips and that, like, I've still got so much respect for him, probably even more now that I've shared a grueling 12 rounds with him, we've punched lumps out of each other, but um, I would definitely want to win one eye, of course, and from a selfish point of view as well, because it's then a bigger fight for myself, um, coming back to Scotland, 
fighting cash route is going to gain me so much more exposure and probably so much more money than what fighting Karim Griffey would. So, of course, I would be rooting for him. Cash, would you be supporting Lee? Uh, definitely. I think, uh, like Lee just said, there, you know, I mean, it's uh, obviously I'll bring the, you know, I mean, Lee bring the big fight back for me, money wise, and for my publicity back home. You know, I mean, you but like again, it'll be a same fight again by a bigger platform to win the European. You know, if he provokes one and if he wins it, it'll be great. If I'll, I'll box him, I'll win it. You know, I mean, I'll definitely, I know if he wins it, he'll give me the ring, uh, he'll give me his for my first defense. If I'll win it, I'll give Lee, you know, I mean, because it, make, it makes sense, you know, I mean, that's what you want to do. You know, and uh, I think uh, definitely if I get if I get that before him or he gets it before me, I think the rematch is definitely the first defense will be great. You know, definitely. He's definitely Lee said that there was no needle between you two in the build up and after the fight, but the, there is needle in the terms of the divide down the middle of Scotland. You're in the west, he's in the east. Is that east west divide sort of thing in Edinburgh and Glasgow and stuff like that? That's what's building this fight, isn't it? Even though you two might not partake in that sort of side of things, but as the fans and boxing fans watching this, maybe in Scotland and Britain as well, because that was a great Brit old British fight as well, mm -hmm. let's just be honest. That's where the needle comes from, isn't it? That's, do you believe it's good for boxing that we have that sort of rivalry between the two of you, the fact that you're from the West and he's from the East? No, I think it's always you not going to need personally, you know, I mean, anything like that. It's just I think you want to win. That's what the problem with the needle. And obviously, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even say it's going uh, Glasgow West End, but people obviously the media make it. I was, but I don't think it's, uh, it's more of the thing to win. Mm. Can, you, can you hear me, Andrew? Yeah, I can hear you, mate. Yeah, I can hear you. Aye, I was saying that the media. Aye, it's my fault. It's my fault for building it up. <laughs> no, is this uh, what do you call that? No, but I think it was just. I think what built that was just me and him just wanted to win, and I think we were right eager. You know what I mean? And uh, we just wanted what what, what it took. Both of us wanted to just get on. When and obviously it would have done us a lot. I mean, it would have took us to the next level, and that's what I think. That's what it was coming from. I got you, Lee. I think Cash was probably it worked out bad for him. So that's yeah. what was the point. Sorry, yeah. I think uh, the rematch would be the same again. You know, I mean, it's just we want to win. Definitely. Well, they want to get your opinions on something. Then, like, you're both in the same division. You both shared the ring with each other. You're in a tough division in the bantamweight division. In your eyes. What are you so you're talking about world titles for the thing, a vacant world title, but if there wasn't a vacant world title and you had to fight for a world title, which one of the world champions would you prefer to face? So start with you, Lee. I mean, I knew he's in there. You've, you've, you've shared the ring with the WBC champion, O'Belly. I mean, which of, the, which of the world champions would you like to, to face? Uh, I don't know. It's quite a hard question, to be fair. But um, if I was going on, like, sort of using my brain and, like, I'm, I'm wanting to win, um, well, obviously, I, I'm never ever going to a fight and think I'm not going to win this. It's just simply not possible and never be my mindset. But without trying, without being disrespectful, that was sharing the ring with Ubali before. I know, I know where I am, and I know that I'm comfortable in there, and I know I can potentially that's a fight I can potentially win one day. Uh, maybe not right now. Obviously, twelve rounds and that it's smaller gloves. It's totally different. But I'm just saying, I know, I know, I would be, I'd give him a right go, um, and I would, I'd prove my prove my worth in there. Uh, with the rest, I don't know much. Well, I do know much about them because I've obviously seen them. But I, I've never been in the ring with them or that. So, so I don't know about that. Um, the likes of Nui and that he seems to be scary fighter. Um, I don't think he's going to get many challenges after. If he if he beats um, Casemiro, so then you go the business side of things. Do you get the money and you and you go for it with with, with the likes of one of them? Ideally, I want to I want to be a be a world champion um, more than want than what I want to do make money. So if you were to ask me, then I would probably I would like to maybe fight Ubali one day. Um, but and obviously the WBC belt, so it's a great belt as well. But um, any opportunity that was put my way, I would I would take as long as my team were happy and I and I knew I was in I was in the position to to give up my all and and be capable of winning. Cast same question to you. Which of the world champions do you think will be a a good good one for you to take on and grab that world title so you can maybe give Lee a shot at? It? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think any world champion is good, you know. What I mean, and uh, they're all good fighters at the moment, you know. What I mean, Baron Bay is one of the divisions where it's all the you know everyone. Got the world, they're all good champions, 
you know, and uh, I think obviously, I think, uh, like uh, Lee said, Abali's probably depends, you know, I mean, you know, it just depends what champions are on at my time. And, you know, I love to always, you like, you always want to be boxing one of the best, you know, I mean, and you, are, you just want to see you box them, you know, and, uh, but it just depends, you know, I mean, because I, Casamero, was, I was thinking, you know, I mean, he's got, it just depends on who's still, you know, I mean, my gels, and obviously my teams are happy with the deal or that. It comes down to a lot of things behind it. It's not, it's not just who you want to box and who think, you know, I mean, but I did, I love, I would love to just go on with a new one. You know, just to go on for the whole time, because he is. You know, I mean, he's on. He will go down for one of the whole team and on for pound one of the best. You know, I mean. Definitely. Right before I let you go, guys, I want to just uh, you give each other a little message because obviously I don't think you've spoke to each other since the fight. But Liam, right. anything you'd like to say, to Cash? Hey, I'm just keep training, mate. Um, I'm sure, as I say, we'll meet again. Um, and nothing but respect. Yeah. Cash? I think seem to leave. You know, I mean, I've got nothing but respect for him. And hopefully, you know, I mean, this uh, coronavirus gets out of the way and we can get back to the gyms and obviously do what we do, you know, I mean, get back to work, you know, I mean, because right now we're out of work. So, yeah, exactly. You, you know, you're, I mean, you're both getting fat, which is, uh, you know, <laughs> and uh, it's no, you know, always it's no good for, always we keep running and training, you know, I mean, doing wee bits, but it's no same in the gym, sparring, punching a bag. But, you know, hopefully we get back to what we do and, you know, I mean, I want to wish him the best, you know. Definitely. Well, guys, I thought this would be a good idea. Like, I've enjoyed it. I, I thought having used to in there, because yeah. selfishly as a jock, I thought that fight there was probably the fight of the year that I had still on seat, or small hall fight of the year for me, definitely. There might be a selfish point of view, but it is what it is. But, Lee, as always, mate, thanks for doing this for TV. Cash, as always, thank you for doing this for TV, and uh, I can't wait to see it all over again. Thank you, guys. Nice one, Cheers, mate.